to my channel, the life of Angel. If you don't like me, just leave you watch me. That's the on that period. And so today, y'all, I'm finna cook up a nice, good meal. So all I'm gonna say is these meals are actually homemade. And some meal except the cornbread, these are my first time cooking these meals from scratch. So the only thing that's boxed in this video is that cornbread and all i'm gonna say is y'all i was very scared but all i'm gonna say is the meal itself was busting that's just that on that so in this clip i am cutting up not cutting up but taking the skin off the potatoes i'm going to make homemade mashed potatoes i've seen this done but in my video i am going to put my i'm having mine on the stove top boiling in water my grandmother, she actually puts hers in the oven. But I'm finna cook mine on the stove. So yeah, just watch as I nicely peel this potato. The potato. I look like a professional though. Like, ain't like it's been a minute since I, you know, saying scrape the skin off a potato. But yeah. So in this clip, y'all, I actually like for like I ain't forget, but I totally forgot to take the meat out. So it's before I went to work. So it's kind of still like, you know, frozen a little bit. So yeah. Y'all gonna see me playing with it a little bit before actually using it. But it was low key frozen. And I was like, mm, let's speed up the process and thaw this out more. So, you know, I look, I tapped it. It's a little ugh, frozen. I can't even pick it up. But you're going to see me putting wa hot water on it. Shaking my head because something told me to take it out the night before and I didn't. That's my fault. On to the next clip. This is before, like, when I do, like, pasta. Basically, when I do pasta in general, like, I let the water boil on the stove. And I always put salt on it. So I thought of, I was like, okay, when I do what I normally do. So I did this when I did potatoes. I let the water boil before putting the potatoes in there. And I think I put like three or four in there. I'm going to just put the top one and let those boil. So I this is like my first time cooking potatoes. Mashed potatoes homemade. So I low-key don't know what I'm doing. But I low-key do a little bit. So usually when I, when I did this, I actually put the fork in and tested it. When it went soft, that's how I knew they were done. In the next clip, I cut up some green onions, some regular onions, and jalapenos. So, y'all, I get all my food, all my freshness from Aldi's. Everything's fresh there, organic. So, I get all my stuff from there. Y'all, I'm acting a little bougie now. So, I get everything from there. If it's not from there, I don't eat it. Don't come for me. But yeah, I'm low-key a professional when cooking in the kitchen. Because I know what the fuck. Mm, I know what I'm doing. And then let's click. I'm cutting up fresh jalapenos. That's the actual jalapeno. That's the actual jalapeno. Jalapenos, y'all. The actual. Actual. Like. The pepper. Y'all feel me? I just cut them up and just put them in there. In this clip, I'm cutting up parsley. Y'all. I just feel like a professional getting all this stuff from all these. I'm telling y'all like that in this clip this is the spinach okay y'all the reason the spinach look like that is because i froze it and then i let that thaw out with the chicken too so it's like like you know when ice turns into water da, da, da. that's why it's so wet and like, yeah yeah that's what it look like that so i'm actually putting the cream cheese in there so this is actually the like, what i'm making is the how much i explain this i'm gonna make like Chicken breast stuffed with spinach and cream cheese. So this is like the filling inside the chicken. So first things first, the cream cheese, then the um Parmesan cheese. And then I sprinkle some onion in there. And yeah, there's the onion. I'm going to tell you, the meal itself was just busting. Like, I really did that. So the next thing is the cornbread. It's been minutes since I had cornbread. I ain't gonna lie. As soon as I made it. And I didn't use the actual mixer. I used the, the hand. The, the whisk. Is that how you say it? I used that. Because I didn't feel like pulling out the mixer. I really didn't. Mm. 
mixing it up, mixing it up. Yeah. That's how you do that. Mm-hmm. This this video was actually 23 minutes long. Now it's nine minutes. In this clip, I am oiling down the pan to get it ready. Okay, so the reason the camera is propped up like this, y'all, is because, like, I'm cooking. I used to cook in my grandma's kitchen, so I, I had every angle. But I'm in my kitchen, and I got it used to it. And I need to buy a new tripod. Not a new tripod, but a new um ring light. I need to buy a new ring light because mine is broken. So I could actually prop it up in my kitchen since I'm in my own place now. But, yeah, don't come for me. The next clip, I am seasoning the chicken. Y'all, I'm cooking. For, I'm the only person in my house, and I'm cooking for a family. Be for real. I love doing my meal preps. Could your girl be? Could a girl be busy for real? The toes is towing. <laughs> but the reason it's moving so much because I'm holding the camera in my hand and I'm trying to open up the seasons when I should have had them already open. But I won't thank you, y'all. I was lucky ready to go to bed for real. And some, some okay, that's a new season. I never used that season before. I was just putting it in there, but it actually tastes good on that. So, yeah. Can never go wrong with the onion powder. Never go wrong with that. Of course, the paprika. I love everything spicy, and that's my problem. That's my problem. Mm hmm And FYI, y'all, I got this, this, the chicken, the stuffed cream cheese chicken. Recipe for my girl, Ari Fletcher, period. I was like, ooh, let me try that. The next clip, I'm actually stuffing the chicken. But yeah, I got this from Ari. Ari the Don, Ari Fletcher. So shout outs to her. Shouts out to her. Her and Tucson actually need to come out with another cooking, another cooking episode. Because Kiki, they are hilarious together. So I'm stuffing it, I'm stuffing it. And I did, I think I did three more like this. Mm-hmm. Look how thick and nice they are. So next I'm gonna sprinkle the parsley on top. And I don't did I I don't think I even used the jalapeno, but in this clip, uh the mashed the potatoes are done. So I'm going to put in onion powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and the whip, the heavy whipping cream. Cause Ari, I got this from Ari too. Well, I knew how to do homemade mashed potatoes before I watched her video. But I think I don't I don't think in my grandma she used heavy whipping cream. I think she just made it the way she did. But Ari, she used heavy whipping cream in hers. So I am too. And I also sprinkled a little bit of sugar in there. Just because you can never go wrong with sugar. But I didn't put too much either. But all I'm going to say is the mashed potatoes, it's not hard. I mean, the potatoes is not hard itself to cook. I think I just got to get used to cooking them. But I think next time if I do cook them, I'm going to put them in the oven and see the difference. But I ain't like, I was scared to put that whipped cream in because I ain't never done it before. But I think later in the video, I do put more. Or I think I did it off camera. But yeah, I do put more in there. See, that's the thing. I didn't know whether to keep the potatoes boiling or not. But I think there were some chunks still in the mashed potatoes. After the fact, but... In the next clip, it is the full meal. I actually got salad on my plate, the cornbread, the stuffed chicken, and the mashed potatoes. I also put parsley in it, but thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. I should have done that, period.